In our last video, we described the 12 types of Imperium soldiers, which included the likes of the Voidsmen of the Navy, the planetary defense forces of different worlds, the Sisters of Battle and Silence, as well as transhumans like the Space Marines and the Custodies. We also did a section for the Imperial Guard, and now in this video, we will delve in deeper into the Astra Militarum, which is the mainstay of the Imperial military. And out of the hundreds and thousands of different regiments, we will list out the 10 most effective and also the deadliest, but not in any order as it is almost impossible to assess which one is better. So these will include the soldiers of the Cadian Guard, the Elysian Drop Troops, the Creek and many more, which are vastly different from one another in armament, doctrines and even culture. So let's get to it. The first one, the Lucifer Blacks. These are a renowned regiment of the Imperial Army that participated in the Unification Wars in the Great Crusade and survived as elite warriors and served as bodyguards to the high-ranking Imperial officers. Following the Horus Heresy, they became regiments of the Imperial Guard and were assigned as Praetorians to protect the Imperial Palace on Terra. Over time, their status deteriorated, especially after preventing the Elder Harlequins from coming face to face with the Emperor in his Golden Throne. However, they did manage to retain their former glory during the 13th Black Crusade, fighting alongside the Custodes and the Sisters of Silence in defense of Terra against a Cornet demonic incursion right after the Great Rift appeared. The Lucifer Blacks are usually outfitted in jet black body armor and lengthy flak jackets with carapace armor. They wear full visored helmets and commonly carry electrifying power glaives as well as last cannons when stationed in the Imperial Palace. Number 2. The Elysian Drop Troops these are elite airborne assault infantry regiments recruited from the lush world of Elysia. They specialize in rapid deployment and surprise attacks, using aircraft and graph shoots to descend directly into battle. Their ability to strike anywhere on the battlefield at any time makes them a coveted strategic asset. Elysians undergo rigorous training and gain combat experience before being considered for service in the Imperial Guard. While they excel in hit-and-run tactics and guerrilla warfare, their reliance on light vehicles limits their ability to sustain prolonged battles. Elysian drop troops carry ample supplies to operate behind enemy lines and emphasize conserving ammunition. Thousands of soldiers dropping from the skies, supported by air mobile vehicles, create an awe-inspiring spectacle on the battlefield. During the 12th Black Crusade, the 234th Elysian Regiment conducted a suicidal boarding action that resulted in the Chaos Hades class heavy cruiser Injustice effectively being destroyed, but at the cost of all of their lives. Number 3. The Valhallen Ice Warriors A renowned Astra Militarum Regiment hailing from the frozen ice world of Valhalla, known for their tenacity and resistance to harsh conditions, they excel in cold weather combat and have a history of victories against the Orcs and other enemies of the Imperium. Valhallen regiments display stoicism and dedication to the Emperor, employing massed artillery barrages and infantry assaults in their attacks, and demonstrating unwavering determination in defense. Their resilience and indifference to human life have given rise to the belief that the ice runs cold through their veins, matching the icy landscape of their homeworld. Valhallen Ice Warriors are equipped with thermally insulated gear, including great coats and helmets, essential for survival in the harsh Arctic environment. They carry extra supplies and clothing, ensuring that they are prepared for any situation. Their tanks and artillery feature camouflage patterns that blend in with the frozen tundra, and each vehicle proudly bears the name of their homeworld, Valhalla. Number 4. The Catechin Jungle Fighters Renowned for their expertise in jungle warfare and hailing from the deadly death world of Catechin, their resourcefulness and combat skills make them unmatched in jungle terrain. Catechins are known for their fearlessness and valor, often mistaken for careless bravado. Despite lacking genetic enhancements, they are regarded as legendary warriors revered even by the Adeptus Astartes. They are taller and stronger than average humans. Regiments excel in scouting and ambush tactics, and their officers fight alongside their troops, earning respect through experience. They reject flak armor due to the hot and dense jungles they operate in. They rely on their mobility and instincts for protection, as wearing armor increases the risk of dehydration in the hostile hot terrain. The Catechin 18, the Swarm Rats, fought for seven standard years against a Tyranid infestation on the world of Coral Carl 8, effectively eliminating the Nids with unusual tactics like luring a swarm into a kill zone by using pheromone glands of the Licto Biform. Number 5. The Armageddon Steel Legion This is a mechanized infantry regiment of the Astra Militarum known for its defense of the Imperial Hive World of Armageddon. The world's industrialized nature allows for their production of large numbers of Chimera armor transports, 
which the Steel Legion employs for mounted infantry operations. These highly mobile forces excel at rapidly deploying and redeploying vehicles and overwhelming the enemy's front lines before dismounting to clear the area. They are heavily protected against toxic and polluted environment of the world of Armageddon. Troopers wear protective trench coats, gloves, visors to minimize exposure to the corrosive atmosphere. Each soldier carries a rebreather unit to filter out the airborne poisons. Vehicles of the Steel Legions are fully enclosed with airtight seals to protect passengers. The regiment also takes special care to preserve their mighty banners, coating them with resistant materials to withstand the acidic decay of the wastelands. They are the main force that defeated one of the Orcs' greatest war, led by Gaskell, and not just once but in many engagements in their hive world. Number 6. The Tempestus Scions Also known as the Storm Troopers, they are elite special forces of the Astra Militarum and also of the Inquisition. Trained from a young age by the Scholar Progenium, they are considered the finest soldiers in the Imperial Guard. Armed with hotshot last guns, health pistols, and protected by carapace armor with omni shielding and also targeting systems, they exhibit exceptional speed, precision, and firepower. They usually undertake specialized missions such as deep strikes, reconnaissance, infiltration, sabotage, and airborne or orbital insurgents. They are highly skilled and equipped with the best weapons and gear available, making them a one man assault squad. When the fortress world of Helwyn was corrupted by the renegade Space Marines chapter of the Company of Misery, the Tempestus Science executed a daring orbital drop, evading detection and disabling the enemy's defenses. As the flesh terrors joined the battle, rebel forces were overwhelmed, and escape routes were cut off by the Tempestus troopers, and in the end the rebels were all exterminated. Number 7. The Mordian Iron Guard in battle, these soldiers present meticulously organized formations, delivering precisely timed last fire behind a wall of bayonets. The elaborate and ornate uniforms of the Mordians have often deceived enemies, mistaking them for amateurs, only to face resolute warriors of the Imperium who are tough, unwavering, and steel eyed. The Mordian Iron Guard is an elite regiment of the Astra Militarum originating from the overcrowded hive cities of Mordian. Due to the peculiar rotation in orbit, one side of the world is bathed in perpetual searing light while the other is shrouded in darkness. The entire population resides in the cramped conditions of the dark side in towering multi-level cities. The Mordian Iron Guard acts as the primary military force and enforcer of order, striving to maintain control, suppressing uprisings, and protecting the world from external threats. They are also often called upon to defend various other imperial worlds all over the galaxy. Number 8. The Vostroian Firstborn Healing from the industrial world of Vostroya and seeking to atone for their ancestors' failure to aid the Emperor during the Horus Heresy, the Vostroyans fight to absolve their shame. Initially refusing to send troops, they instead focus on manufacturing weapons for the Imperium. In penance, every Vostroyan family now pledges their firstborn child to serve in the Imperial Guard. Trained in harsh environments on their planet, the firstborn are sent out once a generation to serve the Imperium, never to return. Family ties are common within the regiments fostering a strong sense of brotherhood. Noble-born officers lead the regiments while common soldiers are drawn from Vostroy's work of families. Known for their stubbornness and fortitude, they excel in line infantry combat, particularly in coal and urban environments. They also maintain close ties with the Adeptus Mechanicus, operating powerful battle tanks in armored regiments. Number 9. The Cadian Shock Troops Hailing from the fortress world of Cadia, they are a highly disciplined and revered regiment known for their steadfast defense against the forces of chaos. Situated at the edge of the Eye of Terror, Cadia endured relentless assaults for many millennia until the 13th Black Crusade led by Abaddon the Despoiler finally killed the planet, destroyed it. Despite this, Cadia's history of unyielding resistance forged a world of skilled warriors and exemplary Astra Militarum regiments. Its immense manpower proved overwhelming for invading armies, often leading to their defeat through attrition alone. Cadia also provided a significant tithe of troops to the Departmento Munitorum and its regiments gained legendary status across the Imperium. Cadian soldiers served in distant war zones, influencing combat doctrines of other regiments and armies, and their logistics are just top-notch. Thanks to their standardized equipment and seamless integration into the Astra Militarum, they are clad in green carapace armor that is iconic in appearance, a green helmet, a green chest plate, a black last gun, a shoulder and knee pads, as well as sensors and metallic boots. There are still millions of soldiers in different regiments that survive the destruction of their planet. And so in the end, we can only say one thing, Gadia stands. And number 10, the Creek Death Corps. This is a renowned Astra Militarum regiment 
originating from the post-nuclear death world of Krieg. After a rebellion against the Imperium, Krieg was devastated by nuclear bombardment and endured centuries of trench warfare, of civil war. Reducing the planet to a radioactive wasteland, the Krieg regiments now seek redemption for their past betrayal by their unwavering dedication and willingness to sacrifice their own lives in combat. Specializing in siege warfare and defensive battles, they are trained in the irradiated ruins and equipped for hostile environments. With a deep sense of penitence and the Krieg regiments willingly deploying to deadliest war zones, they take part in grueling wars of attrition and enduring prolonged sieges. They show little regard for their own lives, embracing self-sacrifice as the highest ideal and considering themselves mere instruments for the Emperor's will. They are not just cannon fodder, they are highly trained soldiers who on occasions would even beat back the Necrocron incursions on various planets. So those are the 10 deadliest Imperial Guard regiments. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe for more videos. But most of all, smash it, smash that bell button like a Greek soldier smashing that TNT to destroy the orcs. So yeah, that is for regular updates on new videos on this channel. Take care, boys.